let's discuss genotypes and phenotypes. In order to start, you gotta understand the relationship between a chromosome and genes. One chromosome is made out of one DNA molecule, and one DNA molecule has many genes on it. And of course, one DNA gene will code for one RNA, and that RNA will code for one protein. Now, you have two parents, right, mom and dad, and you got a chromosome from mom, and you got a chromosome from dad. But that also means you now have a pair of genes. You got one gene from mom, and you got another gene from dad. And this pairing of genes, we call this the genotype. You could have gotten both dominant genes from both parents. You've gotten one dominant gene and one recessive gene from both parents. Or you got two recessive genes from both parents. So here's an example, this pairing of the genes, the genotype. So in mom's chromosome, chromosome six at the top, let's pretend you got a dominant gene. We're gonna label it capital A. And in dad's chromosome, that same gene, you got a recessive version of it. And we're gonna label that lowercase a. That's the pairs of genes. Now, why this is important is those genes will code for proteins. And the proteins is what makes you look the way you do. Your physical traits are made by your proteins. So when you look in the mirror, you're really looking at all the results of your proteins. Now, these proteins are what's causing something called your phenotype. You know it as it's what you look like. It's how your body works. That's called your phenotype. So a gene has instructions to build the protein, and that protein is what causes that trait. So the proteins are critical. Proteins cause your phenotypes. So I got two examples of a genotype and a phenotype. You don't need to memorize these, but you need to be able to understand and identify, oh, that's a genotype. Oh, that's a phenotype. The first one's gonna be cystic fibrosis. And you notice here, everything I'm talking about is with the genes, recessive or dominant genes, a recessive disorder or a dominant disorder. Um, we're talking about the chromosomes here. That's the genotype. And then the phenotype is the physical characteristics caused by those proteins. So the cells can't pump out enough water. And so you're gonna have mucus build up in your lungs. Well, why are you having mucus build up in your lungs? Because the proteins are not working to pump the water out. Oh, the phenotype is about the proteins. Here's another example, hemophilia. And you notice in this example, I'm talking once again about the DNA, the chromosomes, are the genes dominant or recessive? And of course, right in this example, I'm talking about the X chromosome. That's all the genotype. The phenotype, it's the physical characteristic. You actually can see this is happening. This is what the proteins do. So in hemophilia, this blood clotting protein, it's not made or it's actually defective. It can't do its job. Well, that means when people bleed, they keep on bleeding. They can never, uh, never form a blood clot to stop bleeding. Oh, it's the proteins that are actually causing uh, the blood clot. And of course, people with hemophilia, they have a defective one or a missing one. I'm hoping this helps so you can see the difference between what a genotype is and what a phenotype is and how important those proteins are to your body. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.